Wow. You're not going to oh, do that again, that. are we? Wow. Harry was impressed, Pierce. With I mean, that that's one. exactly where you're trying to hit it. Oh. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Piers and Andy from Me and My Golf, and today we are playing golf with PGA Tour player Harry Higgs. We're going to be playing the hole, playing against him in a little bit of a mini match, and we're also going to be explaining this V, the Harry V. So, Harry, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you, gentlemen. You much, much looking forward to today. Hopefully, uh, you guys didn't stack the deck against me here, and this <laughs> is a little easier for me to win than, than you guys. We are doing a scramble, so we've stacked it slightly. In a, okay. Well, I don't know if it's in no, our no, favor, no, actually. It's, it's probably favor, still so. not in yeah. our favor. We're going to have some fun anyway, and, and just really get to know you a little bit as sure. we walk down the fairway. I mean, let's kick this off. I mean, let's just get on the, let's sort of play this hole. But right. before we do, let's just talk about how you see this tee shot then, Harry, for us. Well, it, it clearly looks <laughs> more narrow than I'm sure it is. This yeah. would be kind of the one in, in a practice round when you, you're standing here, you hit it, and you walk out in the fairway, you should then almost turn and look backwards and just take into account that, okay, from the tee, it looks more narrow than it actually is in the fairway. Um, to me, you can just see a right bunker. It's about 3.30, and we are a little downwind. I do not think that I should have to worry about that bunker. Uh, and it sure seems like a hole that if you hit a nice one up the right and it went in the bunker, it probably is going to be okay. It should be too bad. But to me, I mean, it's kind of framed well with, with some trees down the left-hand side. I like to play it left to right. So it is kind of a start at left side of the fairway on that tree line and see that ball just fall a little to the right. Pick your tee up, hopefully hit the next one out of the fairway and, and have a chance for a birdie. Sounds simple. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Sounds it? simple. It sounds simple. It sounds simple. simple, right. It Let's, gets uh, a little harder. <laughs> when you actually have to do it. I can okay. talk my way through it, but we'll, we'll we see can how. All do, we can all talk yeah. a good game, right. Play well, okay. enjoy yeah, it. Enjoy. Gentlemen. Looking forward to this. Good luck. <laughs> Started off with a good one here. He's said, only, he's only just side. done exactly what cut. he wanted to Left there. tree line. That is absolutely yeah. perfect. Fairway. Yeah, nice shot. Perfect. We just okay. got to tell you it's a dog leg left actually round the trees. No. <laughs> yes, you can go. I'm go. I don't know if I can be fooled uh, that easy. Yeah. I can see that green there. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, you guys have been standing on this tee. I'm sure you've hit the tee shot. We've not, we, I've not had a warm up all day uh, today. So. Yeah, it's all. I'm sure you've hit this shot a few <laughs> times. Let's see how we do. We've hit a couple. We've hit a couple. I gave you a good visual. I did my job. Yeah, you know what? If we can, uh, two more of those would be nice. Pierce used to be a long drive. Uh, competitor. <laughs> he's got the build don't, for don't it. Yeah, he's don't got the build. To. Play well, guys. Yeah, I do like you pick the downwind hole. It does make it a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a tricky oh, flag no. position, though. That's Andy, it's on you. It's on me, okay, Pierce. Andy. Come on. Wow. I'll, I'll let you go first to take the pressure off as well. It's like a tag team this is, so okay. I'm, you know, just throwing a bad one. He then hits a yeah. good one. In, in, the, in four ball golf, me growing up playing with, with my partner, we had some success in yeah. Four ball golf. I was definitely always the second guy to hit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be a two-far right, ride. Okay, right. You just remember the one that I hit. I've got that in my mind there, Harry. That's, okay. That sounds good. And now we're in a little bit of trouble. Okay, well. Not quite, not quite the same as Harry's up here. Right. This well, we played the hole before, and it actually was a little bit better than that, right. but that wasn't so good. Well, I've we, hit a couple who's out we there. I have no idea who's we're going to choose. Well, right, we're going to go I think either, we're make either way. Mine, maybe. Can we just talk? Let's just, just talk. Get that out of the way. Just talk okay. about the, the V on the. On the so, shirt. did I ever think that this was going to be a thing? Absolutely not. Um, I've worn my shirt like this for as long as I can remember. I've always been a bigger guy, so for me, it's less of a vanity thing, right? Like it's certainly being portrayed as such. It's less of anything, it's just a comfort. I, if I button up too many of these buttons, big guy with big shoulders, I just feel suffocated in a way almost. So yeah. I just, and I've done it before, you know, tried to, yeah. I guess, be proper or whatnot. Yeah, <laughs> and I hate it. I don't yeah. know, I mean, I see some guys will button them all the way up. I don't know how you play golf like that. It's, <laughs> it can't, be, for me, this is more freeing. Now that it's being portrayed as a vanity thing and it's kind of almost taken, you know, it's taken its own way. Uh, I probably will lean into it maybe a little bit more and have some fun with it. Yeah, I, I do yeah, quite yeah. enjoy it. It's been, it's been fun to see. It's fun to see what people say. Oh, right, this uh, is going to be tricky. Got a nice bounce. Yeah, I think it seemed to, yeah. There, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> a clean shot. Yeah, the old foot wedge got involved there. We've got a chance of making the front. 150. 150. Down breeze, right. Wind is definitely picking club. up now. It's actually windier than it was earlier, isn't it? You're going to go low, or you think you can go normal? Oh, yeah, I tell you what. The, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go. Well, I'm going lower. A little lower. I, 
kind of feel like you could almost just flight like a nine iron. It's not really gonna. Yeah, it's a bit no, of breeze. No, I mean, look, yeah, it's not really gonna and... jump up. It's just all, and this stuff is just all about strike and contact. You kind of have to hit whatever shot you're gonna hit cleanly. You can see he's, this, this obviously bro, means yeah, something to him, doesn't the, it? Check in the wind. It's check down. Wind. He's got down 16 wind. clubs. Yeah. Here, you want me to hold some of yeah, those yeah, for you? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank I'll you, carry Harry. for you. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit it like a, I'm gonna hit it wedge hard at this left corner. The wind's gonna really? see. I don't, yeah, I think that's, I think that's certainly doable. If you can get it there, Show please. me something. All, All right, on. here we go. Time for the creativity. This is it. Oh, a little bit thin, but that's, that's actually good. worked perfectly. Yeah, Look at that. That is good. Come on, get on, on the green. Wow. We're not going to do that again, are we? Wow. Harry was impressed, Pierce. I mean, that that's one. exactly where you're trying to hit it. Oh, great shot. Let me just get that out of the way. That's lovely. <laughs> that was nice. You're Pierce. going low? I'm going to go, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go with a soft cut eight. Okay. Well, you had the low cut. I just nicked it. Just oh, it's caught the trees. Tree. Low cut, a little further left right. would have been oh. great. So this what are shot. you taking into account? So this place? would be what I talked about earlier. Um, 152, a little downwind, probably down five to seven yards. Now I struggle downwind wedges coming up short. This is right in between a pitching wedge and a nine iron. The nine iron takes the bunker, the front bunker, completely out of play. But I may, if you get a gust of wind, it may land hole high and then just kind of go a little further, maybe 15, 20 feet past. Yep. So this would be a great test one for what we just said. <laughs> if my strike is clean and I don't start sliding too much, pitching wedge should be perfect. Okay. So, now we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> In a tournament, this might be just the nine iron, get it over there, pass the flag, okay. try to hold the putt. So we're gonna to try to be as clean as possible here. We're watching. We Stay want you to win with a birdie a here as well, Harry. We want you to birdie. Stay this. on top. And that looks good. Oh, it's in a good that line. Looks good. It was a great really good. strike. Yeah, I love yeah. the shot. Oh, okay. that could be close. That's nice. I gave it just a little tug to get away from that bunker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was good, that was good. Still a little low on the face and maybe just a little towards okay. the heel. I struggle with exactly that. Yeah. Um, and some of the easiest things is just stand further away and yeah a little low out the heels fine with the wedge isn't it because it's just going to be yes. a flighted wedge as you say you might not quite get the yes. carry you want but a little bit of a flight yeah a little cut on it this shot essentially could be tough right like if i am taking on that bunker it, it had better be a clean strike with a wedge now yeah. if, if that was a nine iron i can hit that little low heel one all yeah, day long and i've done that plenty of times yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this was a good little test to see how clean our strike was and if we can carry a front cool. bunker and give ourselves a look for birdie all right well, let's have a walk and we'll okay. talk about the technique because a couple of things that we like is the move away how sure. sort of connected it looks and this may be something you've worked out with corey and i'll ask you this one and then go with the next one sure. so it's connected move away but then as you go through the golf ball this head sort of rotating and actually turning toward the target yes. We love that for amateurs because yeah, it gets them out of the way think that, and the poor concept of keeping it. Yeah, I, the, I think somebody asked me like, what is the one piece of advice that is often given to people but shouldn't in, within the game of golf and I think it's head still. Okay. Now, there can be a time where it's moving too much yep. and that may hinder your ability to hit a good shot, you know, have a nice of clean course. strike. But I think, I mean, you see it now with Dustin Johnson as well, yeah. his head, especially, especially wedges. with wedges. Yep. Um, there are times when I, I lit, need to do more of it. It gets, for me, it gets my chest, my chest kind of follows my head. It gets my chest moving maybe a little downward and to the left, just helps improve strike. And also, you know, the ability to start a ball online. If you're trying to, if your head stays down and you're just back that way, I'll start to miss strike them. I'll start to start them too far right. I'm almost always trying to play a cut. So I should be in theory, starting it left you never want to if you're trying to cut it you've got to start it left but there are times i'm feeling really good and moving around and my head is flying off the ball and it's I, I, part of it is i don't really like to see the ball the club hit the ball i don't yeah, like the yeah. violence it yeah. kind of freaks yeah. me out <laughs> but uh no it certainly helps especially for my ability to cut the ball and start it left okay i think that's great advice for the guys who are watching absolutely. this just to be able to just stay free keep things moving and absolutely i know you said earlier that you're you, you struggle with moving the weight too much. The majority of amateurs sure. struggle with not moving it enough. Exactly. And this is why yes. we like your golf swing, because it does a lot of the things that the guys, these sure. guys should be doing, yeah. really. 
All right, okay. so again, Andy, we should have just gone for this hole. So the last one we played, we hit it close to that one, and now we've hit it close to this one. You're going to start cutting the holes wherever it's <laughs> yeah, the best. Yeah. You left us a nice, easy one, yeah, Pierce. Yeah. yeah, a little down, or a little up, up and, and then down. down. Up, down, and around. Just need a few windmills in there. <laughs> this is kind of one of those ones, though, if you get it too far left, it doesn't actually end up breaking. I think three cups left. Okay. Go. Go a little. Just a little further. Yeah, I thought it might have been a bit faster down there. Had the, had the line. Okay. okay. After seeing one. Let's see, this should, this that should, should help me, shouldn't this it? should scare the hole. That's the one. You get a little further left oh, and it scared, doesn't really do it. <laughs> I scared the cameraman. Okay. <laughs> the door is open. The door is open wide open so yeah just go through your process yeah on so th this greens. is where i think I, I find amateurs really not do what they're supposed to do right like for me i'm just trying to take in we call it take in all the aspects of the environment around me right so i've got i've got a little downwind i've got it a little downhill you know i'll go to, and then i'll just walk over to this side right so over here after seeing your guys's it does look like if you get it too far on the left, it will stay there. So I've got that little bit of information. From this side, from this side, however, it does look like it will continue to fall right. So that's just another little bit. And then I like to come into the middle of the putt and kind of see and feel. I, I think amateurs should, let's make this easy. They should break the putt into at least halves, if not thirds. Maybe the putt that you guys hit a third. They don't, they miss what's happening in front of them, first six feet to 10 feet, they miss the second 10 feet, and then they miss the final 10 feet. Just take into account all that's going on. And then honestly, I personally feel that I do not need to be exact at all. So this to me is downhill, maybe a touchdown wind, and it's gonna break a little left to right. I have always been a good putter, and I've always just been able to, if it's breaking right, I aim left, and then I'm good at it because I have, you know, more of a trained feel. I understand more so the speed that's required to hit it, the speed that's required to make it at a higher line, a lower line. So I think amateurs could, could hit a 15, 18 footer like this and pick and, and hit some firm and see, okay, that doesn't break as much, obviously. Hit some high and have the ability to have it just fall in there and die. There's no, there's no thought or creativity. And then they're trying to be too exact. You know, you get, if you're playing with a round with, a, with someone like me or, or a caddy, they're, they're wanting a, you know, a spot up by the hole. I want this to be a cup out. You could make the putt at probably four or five different reads. It could be a ball outside. It could be a cup. It could be two cups. You have to know how, one, how hard you're going to hit it. Speed is the most important in putting. And then pick that and, and do it. It doesn't have to be a cup. A cup could be perfect everything, but you could play it higher. You could aim it further left and push it. Putting does not need to be that exact in my opinion. So to me, downhill left to right, I'm gonna aim a little out the left and then I'm just gonna feel and continue to feel how hard it's going to be, how hard I need to hit it. And for me, I find I putt my best. I get over the ball, I'm vaguely setting the putter where it should be aimed. And then I, you need to look at the hole. Look at the hole. That's where you want the ball to end up. You're looking at the hole. You're looking at the hole. And then for me, as soon as I get back to the ball, I start my stroke. So here, downhill, left to right, just aim a little out on the left. Look at the hole. Look at the hole. Look at the hole. Back to it. Hit it. And I think I made it. Love it. And there's no time. <laughs> yeah. And that's all you need, that's all you need to do, guys. Yeah. How cool is that? A little bit of feel. Look at the hole go. But yeah. I mean, there's, there's so much great stuff in that because a lot of amateurs are thinking too much. They're freezing yeah. over the ball. And I think what you've just demonstrated there is that sometimes you don't have to be so technically focused. No. You're using your eyes, taking all the information and just allowing yeah. yourself to, to feel what yeah, goes not, on. Yeah, I would say not here on the putting green. You're not, you're not hitting it hard enough where all of the variables are really gonna matter. You know, train yourself to hit the ball at the right speed from many distances, uphill, downhill, even breaking putts. You, you know, those for sure need to have the right speed, but be more reactionary. If you watch the guys in the NBA, they, they have the same routine on a free throw. One, you know, one or two bounces, and then right before they shoot it, they, they're just looking at the rim. They're not worried about where their arm is or where their hands are on the ball. They look at the rim and they shoot it. It should be 
pretty similar to that right here. Look at the hole and hit it. And that's, you know, that's taking into account that this is a downhill putt and it's gonna break a little to the right, but you've already thought of all that. You've already come to that conclusion. Look at the hole right back to the ball and hit it. Yeah, it's great. I think some great advice it's, there. It's, it's great how you took in all of the information, sure. took loads in, lots of different pieces yes. from different places, even looking at what our putt did. And then suddenly by the time you get to the board, it's like, okay, no, it's very simple. Yeah. So I love how you take all that information, just make it so simple. Yes, and That's I will. Do. The best thing is we don't have to miss eyes now. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> That's the best thing. <laughs> I win, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wins, he wins. <laughs> Harry, thank you very much. Really Enjoyed good to it, see gentlemen. you. All the best. And it's going to be exciting watching you compete. I hopefully that you get that win soon. Yeah, absolutely. We know it's not going to be far away. Absolutely. Um, and good luck in 2021. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome.